All right, and we're live for day number two of our 66 days of data with Nime Challenge. Daily live streams for 66 days to take you from zero to hero in data science and data analytics using Nime. So today we are going to cover what is Nime after all and why you, I think, personally should use it. So without further ado, let's start it off with the intro. Are you looking to up your negotiation and procurement skills? You're in the right place. Welcome to Procurement Zen with your host, Phil Kowalski. All right, so let's quickly switch to the screen so I can show you today's tasks and you will um, see some of my very personal opinions. I'm a big fanboy of Nime, and you probably want to take it with a grain of salt what I'm saying, but I also have some experience in it. So this is once again the web page for the 66 days of data with Nime challenge and as always it is also linked in the description of this live stream or if you watch it later of this video down below. So we talked about this page yesterday and let's just quickly go to the categories where we have also been before. So we're still at day number two in the import data initial category. So just click here and jump to it. Yesterday we looked at the tracks over at Kaggle. Um, if you want to see that video um, and you watch this one here, not as a live stream, but um, later on, you might probably um I have it linked here and i see we have at least one viewer i see someone pythonology hi, says hi hey great that you're watching this so today we're going to talk about why nime and what makes it so special i personally believe that nime is an extremely um valuable tool because it is like, it gives me the opportunity to work with data, data scientific approaches um, without learning R or, or any of these languages. I'm not saying these languages are bad and if you can and find the time, definitely do it. But for me, it was always a time constraint. Learning Python was quite time intense and I could learn um, data scientific approaches using NIME along the way, so to say. So maybe we just fire up NIME a little bit and I also show you some of the things I really do like about NIME. And Pythonology, no, no problem um, that you missed yesterday's video. Um, it is all in the playlist and I will link to the previous videos as well. All right, so here, here we are in NIME and what I like about NIME is uh, also is that it's extremely visual. If you look at it at first hand, it might seem a little bit clunky with all these windows and so on. And we might have a look um, in, into the interface and how to structure it um, further down the road. But what I really like, if I just example, uh, if, if I just open an example, um, an example um, workflow really is the graphical language or the visual language and I talked in another video about this already but um, I mean NIME for example uh, uh, uses uh, um uses these these workflow annotations that we cover how to do them in in a later session um, but that gives you a good way to structure your workflows. I would say it's probably similar to commenting when you're looking at um, uh, programming and developing in, in code. But uh, in general, um, I really, really um, uh, uh, like this a lot. Also that the nodes all have uh, different colors like these connector or reader nodes, usually always orange. So if I see an orange node, I know it's a reader node. If I see a yellow node, I see it's a manipulator. If I see a node that's red, I know it's one that writes back. So I really do like this. Of course, also the traffic light system, traffic light system is super easy to understand red yellow green i mean how easy can it get so that's what i also like about nine and i can do all these tasks focusing on 
yeah, on, on my expertise, on the knowledge, instead of focusing what formula to use or if I missed a, a, a colon or a bracket somewhere in my code. Once again, I'm not, I do not want to degrade any programmer or developer or anything like this. I appreciate if people can do this, but for me, it was always a little bit difficult. And I really liked the, the, um, the very visual approach that Nime basically has. Um, in addition to that, I like the versatility. Um, basically, Nime can to connect to a lot of things like um, Excel files, like CSVs, like databases. It can scrape the web. It can access APIs from social media like YouTube, Twitter and so on. All really not very complicated and it does all the heavy lifting in the background. And in return, it can also write to a lot of these files. So I'm coming from a finance background and for me that was quite important because initially I thought, oh, it will be very difficult, as great as this tool is, but it will be very difficult to convince all my peers, all my stakeholders. They also need to install NIME to use the automations. No, they don't because in NIME I can do the automation for of a spreadsheet, for example, read in all the data, manipulate it, write it again into a nice uh, stylish report and then just share that report with people or write to a SharePoint site and all these kind of things. So deployments is also something that we will talk later on and that is some of the reasons why I really do love NIME a lot because as I said or as you can see here um, it's also codeless and that's what I talked about a little bit already so low code to no code you could argue that when you're working with the NIME rule engine you potentially writing a little bit of code but it's very very easy and very understandable um, and also um, that you basically can create oh i forgot one thing and that's that's quite important for me um with the later versions of nime for me at least i discovered how i um, basically can create mini apps so to say that run within nime so i can create basically components here in nime where i have the opportunity to just give my users an input form they just use it they say i want five of these and three of these or my multiplicator is x or whatever so basically they enter their basic stuff and then everything else runs in the background and that's also very user friendly from my point of view um so Pythonology says that's a great advantage that we can deal with the domain knowledge issues instead of worrying about the coding part. Exactly, exactly. And that's that's basically um, my, my expert. And that's where I'm coming from. So I come from a finance, from a procurement background, and I have an expertise in negotiations. And I do want to spend my time in thinking about negotiations. And I want to spend my time in analyzing a report, not in creating it. I want to talk about what do these numbers mean? And I do not want to talk about how do I create these numbers. Um, so you asked why 66 days? Well, um, that, that was also something we had yesterday, 66 days, because that is a challenge. And if you go to the link that I have in the description of this video or live stream, um, it's basically the idea that if you do something for a longer period of time with a short time invest each day, five to 10 minutes, um, that's um, basically when you really dive deep into it. And if you want to make sure you go to that page because you will get a glimpse and uh, a taste of what you're going to learn. And I promise you, we are at the very beginning here. We have not even um, uh, stepped into installing NIME, although I already have it on my system. But I will guide you through all this kind of stuff. And you, when you look at it back at the 66th day, I promise you, you will be amazed what you all have achieved. So you will find more details about this challenge. And my take on it is just to answer to your question. My take on this is I don't want to do it on my own. I want to share it with you guys, with, with the community basically. And that's why I plan to do 66 days of live, live streaming. Of course, also um, older streams are available on my channel. If you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe. Um, 
other than that, I would say that's it for today. Tomorrow we are going to look at download and how to install it. I We will talk a little bit about extension because Nime is very modular. So we can basically benefit also from the community efforts. And I maybe give you a quick um, overview which extensions I would recommend to install. It will be probably around the same time. It is now 2 p.m. noon time here where I am in Germany. So if you have any questions, make sure you comment or you join the next um, um, live uh, uh, stream that I will do tomorrow around the same time. So um, see you tomorrow and have a great time. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Procurement Zen with Phil Kowalski. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit ProcurementZen.com. If you enjoyed today's episode, please review and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time on Procurement Zen.